This video is presented by the EA Sports Game Changer Program. Yo, what is up everybody? And welcome to some Madden 20 gameplay. Yes, Madden 20 right in front of your eyes. This run may feel a bit insignificant because Melvin Gordon just barely got a first down and the Chargers are down 14 points in the second quarter. But check it out. It says in the zone. That's big. That means Melvin Gordon's X Factor ability has been activated. First one free. His next juke, spin, or hurdle has a better chance of succeeding than it normally would. So even though it's fourth down and nine, let's give it to the man with the takeover and see what he's got. Melvin Gordon skying high. That was beautiful. We may have not gotten the touchdown run, but that is a bit of a taste of what the takeover abilities mean in Madden 20. So I'm going to slow down the tempo here a little bit and really explain to you guys how the takeover works in Madden 20, how these X factors work. And we're going to start off with Tom Brady. Tom Brady's takeover is pro reads. That will highlight the first open receiver when he gets open. How do you get this takeover ability? Five plus passes of at least five yards in the air. And yes, you can get sacked and the counter will stay the same. As you guys see right here, the counter will still be at three out of five. And no, you cannot dump it down to James White underneath right there because that has to be at least five yards in the air, not five yards total. So we give it to Demarius Thomas and barely get that five yard pass in there. But still, that adds to the counter. That means Tom Brady is one pass away of at least five yards from activating his X Factor, which we just so happened to do by scoring this touchdown to James White. And you guys will see before every play, before you pick your play, and even while you're at the line of scrimmage, it will say what your X Factor does and what it takes to get you out of your X Factor. So Tom Brady cannot get sacked or else he's out of his X Factor. As you see, that Y button light up. James White was wide open. We'll take that easy money. Tom Brady still in the zone because he has not been sacked sack just yet throwing the beautiful pass to B which lit up and was wide open so you guys see right here we complete that pass and now I'll show you guys what it takes to get out of the zone and as you guys saw it means Tom Brady gets sacked so not only can you see that playing as the Patriots so can the opposing team you're playing online the opposing team will also be able to see what it takes to get someone out of the zone if they're in the zone and vice versa so we get sacked and now that counter resets to zero out of five one thing i want to say really quick about this pro reads it's not 100 percent guaranteed that the button lights up and it's wide open here you see juju lights up and i threw it maybe a second late and it's gonna be a pick six so don't always trust the pro reads the next X Factor ability I want to talk to you guys about today is the Fearless Superstar ability that is equipped on Drew Brees and Phillip Rivers. When these two quarterbacks are in the zone, they do not feel pressure from pass rushers, no matter the likes of Aaron Donald or anybody else. Here I'll show you guys two examples of Drew Brees feeling the pressure from Aaron Donald, pass rushing right in his grill, and it said pressure and heavy pressure as the feedback. Here is Drew Brees entering the zone very similar to Tom Brady, who has pro reads along with Ben Roethlisberger and Andrew Luck. You need those consecutive five-yard completions. It took four for Drew Brees to enter the zone, and here he is in the zone. Once again, it says before you pick the play what the takeover is and what it takes to get you out of the zone, and you can have multiple players taking over at once. You see Kamara's taking over, and Brees will take advantage of that by throwing the pass to Kamara who doesn't make the catch but the main point I want to emphasize here is Aaron Donald even the reigning defensive player of the year in Drew Brees' face and it does not affect the pass once again you'll see Donald come off the double team but don't worry because Drew Brees is taking over he will make the perfect pass as long as he's in the zone so yes Drew Brees is limited to this thing in the pocket but while he's in the pocket he will throw nothing but dots and of course, there are ways to take quarterbacks out the zone and not just what they explain on the menu. There are alternate ways to take a player out the zone sometimes. Like you see Drew Brees through a pick six. That'll knock Drew Brees out the zone. Here I'll show you guys Phillip Rivers already in the zone, throwing that pass once again, the fearless thing showing up right there as we dump it down to Melvin Gordon. He's not feeling the pass rush. And, you know, just like Tom Brady, you take that sack and you are out of the zone, which you guys will see once again right here. The counter will reset at zero out of five. 
let's switch positions from the quarterback position to the cornerback position for our next x factor ability we will go over today the shutdown ability this is equipped to some of the top cornerbacks in the game like chris harris jr byron jones and Jalen ramsey as you see here and also some of the top middle linebackers in the game like bobby wagner and luke keekley to get these players in the zone you either need to force three incompletions with that player or as an alternate way to get them in the zone as you'll see right here get an interception it doesn't matter whether it's in man coverage or zone coverage you get that interception as you see here which is not easy to do against a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers but Jalen Ramsey is capable of doing that and now Ramsey is in the zone so what does the shutdown x-factor ability do it will make your coverage lock down you will bump and run a receiver and clamp them it will be hard to find any open passing lanes and as it is with every x-factor ability there's also a way to knock that player out the zone and for Jalen Ramsey and all these shutdown players it's 30 passing yards allowed not against Jalen Ramsey specifically but just in general he's got to pass for 30 yards and Jalen Ramsey will be out of the zone but while Ramsey's in the zone, you probably do not want to pass it in his area. Check out this coverage. Perfect against Geronimo Allison. Where do you see space to pass the ball against Ramsey? Nowhere. Third down and 27. Unfortunately, even though this will be a check down and won't get the first down, it will knock Jalen Ramsey out the zone. And you'll see his counter will reset to zero out of three incompletions. But while I was playing this game, I had Jalen Ramsey in the zone for an entire quarter. And I was mainly playing cover two defense, cover one robber defense. And I would shift my coverage to the opposite side of Jalen Ramsey and let Jalen Ramsey shut down one side of the field by himself these takeovers like the shutdown takeover is very fun to play with on the defensive side of the ball look at Stefan Gilmore who is a man up specialist and is currently taking over poor Allen Robinson where is there an open space to throw this ball? He is face guarding him pretty much. Second down and six, you will see that Stefan Gilmore will give up a pass. They're not unstoppable. You can pass the ball against them with the right passing concepts. But you probably don't want to test Stefan Gilmore too many times while he's in the zone. Down by one late in the game, Stefan Gilmore gets the game ending interception. Wow. He followed the receiver all the way downfield, and he was in the zone. He was making that interception, no doubt about it. Stefan Gilmore looked more like the receiver on that play while he was taking over than Allen Robinson. Yeah, you do not want to test these guys. You can, but you probably don't want to. Let's show the tight end some love now and show off the superstar ability for Zach Ertz. For Zach Ertz to activate his X Factor, he needs to catch six passes in a row. That does not mean you have to pass it to Zach Ertz six times in a row, but when you do pass it to Zach Ertz, he needs to catch it for that counter to go up by one. And if Zach Ertz drops a pass, then the counter drops back to zero. Once Zach Ertz is in the zone, his possession catches have a higher chance of being caught, which doesn't sound flashy, but you guys will see once Ertz is in the zone, it's more powerful than you think. Like Zach Ertz's ability was maybe my favorite. I tried out to be honest. Honest. and it's not easy to get any of these players in the zone because if it was easy to get everybody in the zone and activate their x-factor abilities all at once then it would be complete madness you would have Jalen Ramsey shutting someone down and Melvin Gordon hurling someone and Tom Brady with pro reads on the field all at the same time and you can't have that it has to be earned it has to feel cool when you get in the zone so now that Zach Ertz is in the zone obviously we want to give the ball to Ertz and let him make that catch 41 you can try Antoine Bethea but Zach Ertz is in the zone he's making a possession catch and he's catching a touchdown now here we go once again on the post route Zach Ertz he's gonna make that catch and when Zach Ertz is in the zone like this you might want to think about doubling him because you see the Giants continue to either go zone defense or single up on Zach Ertz and he is shredding them once again on the post route and you see I'm using that ability Zach Ertz has to have the four extra hot routes to put him on a post check this play out though in the middle of the field double coverage I go possession catch and Zach Ertz makes him look easy because he's in the zone like i'm saying man don't sleep on zach Ertz's in the zone ability because he is completely dominating this game constantly making catch after catch after catch but one more time you can get everybody in the zone and you can also knock everybody out the zone. Zach Ertz does not come up with that pass and Zach Ertz, bam, out of the zone. The final X-Factor ability I want to show you guys today 
is the one we started the video off with. First one free. Now we're really gonna break it down, see what it takes to get in the zone. What happens when you get one of the top running backs in the game, like Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon Barkley, or as you guys saw earlier, Melvin Gordon in the zone, and what it takes to get them out of the zone. First things first, Ezekiel Elliott is not in the zone yet, even though it looks like he is. This is just Zeke beasting all over this Redskins defense. He's lighting up like a Christmas tree with some of his secondary abilities like armbar and inside zone guru being activated when we do inside zone runs and when we just stiff arm people out of the way. So to get Ezekiel Elliott in the zone, you have to get five runs of 10 yards or more in a game. They do not have to be consecutive runs. And as you guys saw earlier, if you get stuff for a loss on a run, that counter will not reset. It'll keep on going. Zeke will keep on eating as he gets these first downs. And now we are one run away from getting Ezekiel Elliott in the zone. So let's do what an inside zone gotta get away in. We do, and that's a first down. And Zeke is looking for more. He's already activated in the zone, but he's just showing off at this point. Juking out Landon Collins and decleating Josh Norman. Touchdown, Cowboys. Zeke is dancing and he's in the zone. So now that Zeke is in the zone, like before, he was just destroying people without being in the zone. What happens when Ezekiel Elliott is in the zone? Is he just going to run everybody over? There's only one way to find out. Let's do it. As you guys see, to knock Ezekiel Elliott out of the zone, you need to force a tackle for a loss. And even though you might have it lined up, easier said than done. Because with first one for your next juke, hurdle, or spin move has a higher chance of succeeding. The first juke drops Dunbar down and Nicholson will just add to the boneyard created by Ezekiel Elliott. Oh my goodness. First one free is so much fun. It might be the hardest in the zone ability to activate because like getting five runs of 10 yards or more is not easy, right? It took me a lot of time to get some of these running backs in the zone, but once Zeke is in the zone, get out of the way. Oh my, Zeke is eating right now. That truck, like that poor guy, he's gonna be just questioning his decision to step on the football field. Once again, Josh Norman, the victim of Ezekiel Elliott going off. Check it out again, Josh Norman, sit down young man. You were not ready for what Zeke had to offer. And of course, Ezekiel Elliott is normal. He's human being, he can be knocked out the zone. Even though he still broke off the first tackle, that will knock Ezekiel Elliott out of the zone. Mason Foster will get the job done and Ezekiel Elliott's counter is reset. Before we end today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the secondary superstar abilities that you guys have been seeing throughout today's video and some of them being displayed like Zachary's tight end specialist or Ezekiel Elliott's arm bar. Here I'll show you guys Tom Brady with conductor with hot route specialist completely changing four verticals and then after the play snaps getting extra time to pass because he's Tom Brady and he has that ability to keep the pocket alive longer. These superstar abilities are what are going to make the stars feel like stars, more so in Madden 20 than any previous Madden game that has ever been made. It's what's going to make Tom Brady feel different from Ben Roethlisberger, as you will see here, from a Tyrod Taylor or a Lamar Jackson. In previous years, you didn't feel much from Tom Brady to Tyrod Taylor besides the ratings. Now these abilities will make the players feel different. It will make Ben Roethlisberger play like Ben Roethlisberger does in the NFL. He's going to be breaking sacks like Big Ben does. It's not easy to bring Big Ben down, and you will feel that in the game of Madden now. Even Fletcher Cox, Big Ben just gave him a silly little stiff arm, and Ben Roethlisberger will be able to throw out of a sack. You can still sack Ben Roethlisberger, but it will be a lot tougher to sack Ben because he can still get that pass off because he is so strong, and he has these abilities installed in the game. Here you see Le'Veon Bell has the arm bar that Ezekiel Elliott had and he also has spin specialists so spin specialists is pretty interesting as you see arm bar being displayed the spins have been toned down for Madden 20 but if you have a running back with the spin cycle like Le'Veon Bell you can spin almost as quickly as you can in Madden 19 and by the way Le'Veon Bell he can hurdle pretty well it's not his special ability but it's Le'Veon Bell it's something he does in real life and it's something that he can do in Madden the final player we will go over today is Saquon Barkley because as a Giants fan, I need to go over the only player with abilities on our team, Saquon Barkley. So Saquon, he's the jack of all trades. He can spin, he can stiff arm, he can juke. 
because that's what Saquon does. Saquon can do a little bit of everything. And he's not in the zone, but he still has these secondary abilities to be a difference maker. Oh my, George Iloka, step on up. Saquon Barkley's about to put you in the twister. Oh my, someone catches ankles. There's somewhere back at the 50. Meanwhile, Saquon Barkley is in the end zone celebrating a sick 64 yard touchdown run and a little celebration afterwards so this will wrap up today's madden 20 video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned about how these superstar abilities and the x factors all that good stuff works what it takes to get in the zone what it takes to get out of the zone we'll end the video by knocking saquon barkley unfortunately out of the zone so leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw subscribe for more madden 20 gameplay this guy i'll have some more for you guys eventually shout out to ea sports thank that thank you to ea for letting me capture this footage and on that note i will catch you guys next time thank you for watching